वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई चैनल दैट इज़ फास्ट एंड ईजी मैथ्स विच इज़ डेडिकेटेड टू गिव यू टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स रिलेटेड टू मैथमेटिक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व रेशियो सम्स ओके एंड दीज आर नॉट द ओनली सम एक्चुअली आफ्टर सॉल्विंग दीज काइंड ऑफ सम वी विल सॉल्व समथिंग लाइक दिस एज वेल सो डू स्टिक अराउंड टिल द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो एंड डोंट फर्गेट एट द एंड देर विल बी अ डी आई वाई क्वेश्चन फॉर यू ऑल एज वेल ओके सो द क्वेश्चन ओवर यर इज इफ ए इज टू बी इज इक्वल टू फाइव टू सेवन and b is to c is equals to 6 is to 7 then we need to find what is a is to b is to c whenever you have something like this it's very very simple we have 5 upon 7 you write down the ratios like this okay and your job is to make what basically this is your a this is your b this is your b again this is your c okay so you need them to make the b say now over here 7 is a prime number okay and 6 does not come in sevens table so basically the L lcm of 6 and 7 will be nothing but what just multiplying with each other okay sorry this is 6 so when you multiply 5 into 6 you get what 30 is 2 this is 42 this is 42 so we'll write this once because both of them are representing b and then your c comes which is 49 and this is your final answer so i can see out of these options option b is my correct option okay students i would like to remind all of you all that if you like the way i'm teaching then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos okay so now the next one is see now this is a bit different because here they have given you a is to b which is 7 upon 9 then this is b is to c which is again 15 upon 7 okay and we need to find what is a is to c so here again in order to do that what you have to do over here is we again have to make sure both of them are equal okay so now here you can change the lcm and make it like you know make the, the lcm will be what 9 and 15 45 will be the lcm why because 3 is the common factor So here I'll multiply by five. Here will also multiply by five. Here I will multiply by three, and here also I'll multiply by three. Now, students, please understand. I do not need the b values. Okay, so I can do this very, very clearly, straightforward. Seven up into five is my a value. This is my a value, and this is my c value. Okay, so I'm going to divide this by what my c value to get the ratio. So this is cancelling. So I'm getting what five upon three. so option a is my correct answer okay so i hope you all are getting the hang of these kind of sums okay so now now this is also a bit different which we have over here is if 6a is equals to 4b is equals to 9c then we need to find a is to b is to c again over here first what we'll do is we'll write <coughs> 6a is equals to 4b one side and here we'll write 4b is equals to 9c So now I want a upon b, so that's nothing but what dividing, or uh, taking this number on this side, so four upon six. So I can say a upon b is nothing but what two upon three, correct? Similarly, b upon c is nothing but what nine upon four. Now here, please understand, I can't cancel this further, but here my b is representing as nine, and here my b is representing as three. So now, what is the LCM over here? Because nine comes in three tables, so I'll make this three also in terms of nine. So I need to multiply this by what three again. Here also I'll have to multiply this by three. Please understand, I do not need to touch this fraction because here my b value is already nine, and that is the value which we are seeking for this particular b to become. Okay, so here I can say my a becomes what. A is to B is to C. Okay, so now B is obviously nine. A is what six, and C will remain as four. So here, out of all my options, I can say option B is my correct option. So I hope you all are getting the hang of these kind of sums. How to do these sums? Okay. So now, let's come to the part where we are going to do reciprocal questions. Okay. So here we have what x. 1 upon x is equals to 1 upon y is equals to 1 upon z, which is 2 is to 3 is to 5, and we need to find the value of x is to y is to z. Now, please understand when you have something like this, you can 
shift it on the other side and put the reciprocal on this side so i can say that x is to y is to z is nothing but 1 upon 2 is to 1 upon 3 is to 1 upon 5 but now this is not how your options are represented so you need to write this in a proper manner so now i will write this as nothing but what x upon y x upon y is nothing but what 1 upon 2 upon 1 upon 3 okay so basically this is becoming what this goes over here and this goes over here so 1 into 3 gets you 3 and 1 into 2 gets you 2 okay so i can say x upon y is nothing but what 3 upon 2 <coughs> sorry so now similarly i want what y upon z this is nothing but what 1 upon 3 divided by 1 upon 5 so again fraction over a fraction you know that the numerator gets multiplied by the denominator and the denominator gets multiplied by the numerator okay so here i get this as nothing but 5 upon 3 okay so i can say that x upon y is equal to 3 upon 2 and y upon z is equal to 5 upon 3 right so now you need to make sure that both the values of y are supposed to be same okay so here again 2 and 5 both are what prime numbers so in that case you just have to multiply this by each other so 2 will get multiplied by 5 and 5 will get multiplied by 2 okay so now your answer now changes to what x is to y is to z so here your x is what 15 is to y which is 10 is to z which is your 6. Now please understand you cannot solve this further because there is nothing common between them to reduce this further. Okay so here your final answer is going to be option D is your correct option. Okay so now I want you to tell me time for your DIY. Uh, if x is to y is equal to 2 is to 3 and y is to z is equal to uh, 12 is to let's say 11 then you have to tell me what is the value of x is to y is to z okay do let me know your answers in the comment section also students before i forget i would like to remind all of you all that do subscribe to my channel and also share these videos with any of your friends or anyone who think who you think this might be helpful or who is studying for any of these entrances most of the videos on my channel are about entrance exams or are or are about how to um, do basic multiplication division uh, addition subtraction of mathematics very very easily okay so these are those tricks which i normally share Apart from this, if you have any doubts, then please let me know so in the comment section. I will definitely make a video on the same. Bye.